What's going on people? This right here is a good reason why I rarely eat out at any restaurants. I've always been picky when it comes to food. Okay, I just don't eat everybody's cooking and I just don't eat in every restaurant because you don't know who's cooking your food or what they're doing to your food. Unfortunately, this is in Detroit. Now, Detroit is population black people. And what this dude did, he did it to black people. He did it to his own people, his own community, right? Detroit, population black people. Now, I'm going to let you check out the news video. After which, I'm going to let you check out the video of him actually spitting in this pizza. Okay, so check out the news article and then feedback and tell me what you think. Um, I'm going to post the link on the bottom. I would appreciate if you guys share this link, uh, put the information out there, um, like and subscribe to the video. And if you choose to do so, financially support the channel. But this is the video, the news article right here. Check this out. Service worker at Comerica Park arrested after a stomach turning video went viral. You saw that video first on 7. Now we're learning more about it from the co worker who pushed the record button. He told 7 Action News reporter Bethany Moore what happened when he sounded the alarm and why this may not be an isolated incident. You're right, that former employee has been arrested, and the other employee that took the video says he was just trying to warn others. Quinnell May says when he heard what the other employee said he was going to do to the pizza on Friday, he was in shock. And I asked him, was he serious about that? Like, was he really going to spit the pencil pizza? And he said, yeah, so I pulled out my phone to have proof, just in case he did it. May said he tried to report it to his manager, but wasn't heard. So I went home and I posted the video to show people what was going on because they obviously didn't want to listen. I was going to stay after to go down and speak to the HR to not cause a scene in the stand, but they didn't want to listen to me. That video went viral on Facebook and Instagram. In a statement, Detroit Sports Service, the food and beverage providers at Comerica Park said they closed that food stand when they found out and got rid of the tampered with food. But May says that that employee says he's spit in the food before. He said he's done it before, and he's been working there for three years or two or whatever he said. So there's no telling how many people probably looked over it, and I was just that one person to catch it and film it and turn it in. But May says even though he was trying to do the right thing, he was fired over the phone for posting the video, and you can see in this text message with his supervisor at the park, he was asked to take the video down. I'm disgusted at him for spending the pizza, and I'm also disgusted at Comerica Park for threatening to sue me for posting a video and exposing it when they should be worried about him spitting in the pizza. But Detroit Sports Service say he wasn't fired but has been suspended. And that, quote, no one acting in an official work capacity asked him to remove the video. The prosecutor's office is still reviewing the case for possible charges. Bethany Moore, 7 Action News. Now, when I first watched this video, the first thought that came to my mind when I saw this dude being interviewed was what is his motive? Now, I'm sure that he, he knew that this was going on for a long time. He knew about it, just didn't say nothing. So then I read the article and I'm gonna put it on the bottom and you guys can come and read the whole thing for yourself, okay? But I'm just giving you the short version of it. He said, I was sent home early today because I didn't have on my Comerica Park shirt. And they say I was in the bathroom for too long. So they yelled at me and told me to go home. But since they made me go home early, I couldn't wait until after the game to tell them, which means he knew already to tell them an employee was spitting in the customer's pizzas, okay? So his motive, he he's playing the good Samaritan, but he's really not a good Samaritan because had they not have sent him home for not uh, for being in the bathroom too long, 
or he didn't have his shirt on, if they had not have sent him home early, he would have never recorded this and he would have never reported it. Okay, so he's trying to play the Good Samaritan. You know, I, I, I was so concerned that they were spitting in the customer's food, right? So I had to report it and I kept trying to tell them, but they refused to listen to me, right? So now they want to fire me for that. But in reality, unless I have this backwards, he told on himself, and I'm going to read it again. I was sent home early today because, not because of the fact that he posted that video, but because I didn't have on my Comerica Park shirt, and they say I was in, at the bathroom for too long. So they yelled at me for that reason and told me to go home. But which means something else is following that. Since they made me go home early, I couldn't wait until after the game to tell them an employee was spitting in customers' pizzas. So that was his real motive for bringing this to light. So he's really not a good Samaritan. He's really not saving the day. Although he's making them aware, but his motive and intention is not right. So this is the actual video right here of where this guy is doing this. I'm not gonna post it because of how YouTube has been, but you guys can click on the link and check this out for yourself. Share this link, this article, feedback, tell me what you think. And if you're so generous in your heart, feel free to click the PayPal link button and support the channel. Until next time. I'm fearless.